Hello, welcome. This is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. I'm Atala Pink. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about that, you know, the Ethereum merge has an official kickoff date. So let's talk about it. You know, it's a big event, what's going to happen in September. So pretty soon. Then let's continue with Ethereum because Coinbase introduces wrapped staked ETH asset ahead of the merge and also uh, Ethereum Foundation has announced that they will increase, you know, the bug bounty, uh, you know, around this merge and uh, people who, you know, find very important uh, bugs can be rewarded up to 1 million US dollars. So guys, all this in today's video. And if you would like to keep yourself up to date, very important, subscribe to this YouTube channel, Blockchain Bloom, because every single weekday I bring you the freshest cryptocurrency and blockchain news. Hit the like button if you like this kind of content and also check out the links under this video. By the way, talking about links, here we have this one now. If you would like to get the Ledger backup pack, there is a link and with that link, it goes straight away to here, to this side, which is very important because it's the original Ledger side, so you're not buying from someone else and then you get a discount. Uh, funny thing is, it's now here in Hungarian currency uh, because, you know, I'm in, in Hungary here, but obviously you get the discount, uh, the same amount, uh, same percentage um, on the backup pack doesn't matter if you pay in euros or if you pay in uh, dollar, whatever. Um, okay, and now let's move on to the market, where we can see that Bitcoin is basically 1.6% up. It is 21,654 US dollar. And then we have here Ethereum, almost 4% up, uh, 1,698. Then when we're looking at the leaders, then Decreed is the one which going up 18% in the top 100. Ethereum Classic 10% and Anchor going up 10% as well. When we're looking at the losers, not big losers today. Helium 2.6 down. Then we have uh, Neutrino USD uh, 2.4 down and Bitcoin Cash 1.8. So that's nothing massive. When we're looking at the Bitcoin candlestick chart and we're looking at this trend line, it's still working as a support so far. So you can see that Bitcoin is going a little bit sideways, but slightly, slightly upwards, as you can see. And this is the trend line when I'm watching right now. If this breaks down, then the level could be this uh, 19,000, 20,000-ish, or otherwise we might go up again a little bit, maybe towards the merge and then after the merge is going to happen something so okay, it's all interesting all interesting things uh also interesting that uh, you know it looks like on the dxy um uh, we can see you know as the usd dollar currency index that the us dollar went strong again for a while and it formed maybe a double top and if that's happening that could be good for risky assets uh, and, and for the stock market as well. Uh, because when this one is going up, people putting their money rather in cash because it's worth more. But then uh, when this one goes down, it's rather focusing on, on putting in uh, other places than uh, US dollar. Okay, and now let's move to the first topic. And the first topic is all about that the Ethereum merch has an official kickoff date. So let's talk about it. Well, let's share the screen. You know, huge thing is that theory moving from proof of work to proof of stake, and this is going to happen in September. And now uh, they announced that the Bellatrix upgrade, which begins the final countdown, is set to activate on the 6th of September. And the merge itself will be completed some point between the 10th and the 20th of September. So on those days, but very important that this uh, kickoff, which starts the final countdown, it starts on the 6th of September. And, uh, you know, the Bellatrix upgrade will activate uh, on the beacon chain, as I said on the 6th. This upgrade is responsible for setting the rest of the merge process in motion. So this is actually then the, the bowl is rolling after that. 
and the Ethereum developers have hinted uh, in past calls that they aiming for September 15, 16. So we will see how it uh, works out. And during this period, the difficulty level will increase to the point where basically, you know, proof of work crypto mining will no longer be possible, you know. And uh, yes, and we're going to move. And here you can see a bit more how the whole process looks like. So here you can see the upgrade public test nets. You know, we had the, the Robston um, and uh, Sepolia and Gorley you know, these during the summer, all went successful. And then, uh, you know, here, uh, the consensus layer, um, this is the, 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 the beacon chain, basically. Um, here you can see the, 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 the yeah, that's the one uh, which started here. And then, um, you know, parallel, because two things are going uh, parallel side by side. Uh, you can see uh, here the execution layer. And basically here is the one 6th of September I have just mentioned, you know, the Bellatrix uh, will, you know, kick off. And then we have here between the 10th and 20th uh, Paris. And then, you know, things will go on the beacon chain, it, which becomes the main uh, chain after that. Well, interesting and exciting in the same time okay and let's continue with uh, ethereum because coinbase that's that's surprising for me before the merge but introduces wrap staked eth so coinbase uh, make their own move and uh, getting bullish on eth and they introducing uh, wrapped staked eth and they're saying that our hope is that CBE, so that's what they call it, will achieve robust, uh, robust uh, adoption for trade, transfer, and use in DeFi applications. That's what the exchange said, at least, you know, uh, and uh, allowing customers to use their staked ETH while earning reward on the exchange. Um, according to its website, users can withdraw the tokens to Coinbase, stake them and then wrapped the ETH2 into CBE with the new wrapped stake token balance visible on their account. The token are expected to be available for trading on the 25th of August. So this is actually today if, yeah, if liquidity conditions are met. So this is important. And ETH and the CBE are not packed or expected to be interchangeable one-to-one uh, -one. that's important in fact as the underlying state it continues to accrue rewards each cbe token is expected to uh, represent more staked eth which may you know result in divergence in price for these assets over time so it's very important that it's not like the ratio is not uh, one by one. So the, the price can actually change for CBE compared to ETH. Well, it's also an interesting experiment and they hope it will be successful in trade transfer and in, in DeFi applications. But uh, what will happen? Future will tell. Okay, and the third thing. A third thing is all about, uh, also about Ethereum. And the increase the bug bounty uh, up to 1 million US dollar. Obviously, Ethereum wants everything smooth. So they announced that they uh, increase the bug bounty up to 1 million US dollar. So the Ethereum Foundation announced that it will increase the network's bug bounty payouts fourfold ahead of the blockchain's transition to proof of stake. You know, the Bounty program also allows, you know, submissions for low, medium and high risk uh, bugs. But definitely it's up to 1 million. So not everybody who finds any kind of bug uh, will receive this. But if they find a high risk, uh, something very important bug, then actually the bug Bounty can be 1 million US dollar. 
uh, and the foundation added that the Ether holders and users largely did not uh, need to take any action prior to the merge other than to be on the lookout for scammers. <coughs> so also I read, uh, you know, uh, on, on, on Ledger page that if you have um, Ethereum on Ledger, you don't have to do anything, but be aware of it that uh, there will be a lot of scammers. They're forcing you, I mean, asking you uh, and and try to confuse you that you have to send it here and there and whatever and be aware of it that you're not losing anything. So basically, uh, the holders and users uh, do not need to take any action uh, around this uh, merge. Okay, guys. Well, that's it for today. Don't forget, every single weekday, I bring you the freshest cryptocurrency and blockchain news. So simply subscribe to this YouTube channel if that's important for you. Hit the like button if you like this kind of content. And of course, I'm back tomorrow with the freshest. Have a good one. Bye-bye.